And Senator Mike Lee of Utah, who last week introduced a resolution calling on Congress to, quote, investigate and correct abusive, unsanitary and illegal abortion practices. And Charmaine Yost, president of Americans United for Life. We did contact Planned Parenthood and NARAL, both pro-choice organizations who declined our invitation to provide spokespeople. But uh, they did provide statements you heard from Planned Parenthood uh, in Shannon's piece. Uh, NARAL said this, quote, justice was served to Kermit Gosnell today and he will pay the price for the atrocities he committed. We hope that the lessons of the trial do not fade with the verdict. Anti-choice politicians and their unrelenting efforts to deny women access to safe and legal abortion care will only drive more women to back alley butchers like Kermit Gosnell. The horrifying story of Gosnell is a peek into the world before Roe v. Wade made legal a woman's right to make her own choices. Uh, Charmaine, let's start with you. Your reaction to that statement and your thoughts about the, this trial and its verdict. Do you know, Brett, it's really fascinating to me because we have been fighting the abortion industry for decades over clinic regulations. This abortion industry is unregulated, unsupervised, and unrepentant. They keep saying today the National Abortion Federation has said that there nothing needs to be improved in terms of oversight of abortion clinics. But what Kermit Gosnell's clinic shows is that that was the face of legal abortion. There are over 15 investigations ongoing right now into legal abortion clinics across this country that have unsanitary um, and terrible conditions for women. We really are asking today how many more women have to die before we get serious about looking at what this industry does to women. Senator, you see a legislative path here? Yes, I do. Uh, it's a path that involves greater scrutiny across the country into this industry. You know, this case really is about much more than just one man. It's about an unaccountable industry that has far too long been given free reign to prey upon the vulnerable and the innocent. And so last week I filed a resolution that would call on governments at all appropriate levels to look into this practice, to look into the fact that this is occurring, to look into the fact that the late-term abortion industry in America is not only dangerous, but it's something that preys on the innocent and the vulnerable. You heard these statements. They say this is about one man. They say this is about one clinic. Um, you know, Planned Parenthood says that you need to protect access to safe and legal abortion, and that's not what Kermit Gosnell was. And what I find especially remarkable about those statements is that they somehow try to make a causal link between regulation of, of, of the abortion industry and this kind of thing. But the evidence doesn't support that at all. In fact, the evidence suggests exactly the opposite of what they're saying. This is what happens when you allow the late-term abortion industry to operate without any fetters, without any regulatory review. This is the kind of thing that results. The media coverage picked up towards the end of this case. Um, we obviously covered it from, from a long time uh, during this trial. Uh, what do you think about that and how this all played out and, and how it will play in the big picture about the abortion issue? I think it's really troubling when you see the news reports that when we do polling right now after the, after the trial, that so many Americans have still not even heard of Kermit Gosnell, which would never be the case with any other trial of this level of sensationalism. We really need to be sure that the lessons coming out of this trial is that we've been able to look behind the secrecy that the abortion industry so avidly protects um, in order to see what's really going on. You know, Brett, in this country, we regulate veterinary clinics more than we do abortion clinics, and what has happened in this clinic is the logical outgrowth of that. Last thing, Senator, it's such an explosive issue. It is so, well, it's just a personal issue for a lot of folks when they, when they talk about it. Uh, as a political issue, where do you think it is? Well, I think regardless of where any of us might stand on the issue of abortion, either as a personal moral choice or from a political standpoint, I think we can all agree that no one ought to allow this practice to continue, the practice of unsafe, unsanitary, uh, and inhumane late-term abortion practices that result in uh, an environment that's very hostile to the interests of vulnerable women and children. Senator Charmaine, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Appreciate the time. Still to come.